Okay, so so far we've seen examples of the source to sync pattern, which is effectively the Knative event source connected directly to the Knative service or the sync. So we're going to look now at some more production grade uh, ways to do uh, Knative eventing. So the first thing we're going to look at is, is, is uh, using eventing channels. First thing we're, we're going to do is set up a config for the for Kafka. Um, so a config Kafka config map in the Knative eventive namespace. This is going to um, effectively give uh, Knative eventing the location of our Kafka cluster that we set up previously. So I'm going to apply this YAML, and we should see that um, config map being updated. So let me just do that. And once that's done, um, we're then going to configure Kafka as the default Knative channel for this particular namespace, the Knative test namespace. So again, this is another config map update uh, in the Knative eventing namespace. And you can see here from the, from the config map, we're effectively setting the defaults for the Knative test um, namespace, and we're telling it to use uh, this Kafka channel. Cat kind is going to be Kafka channel. <clears throat> so let's deploy that uh, that YAML. And once that's done, we will set up um, a channel in in the Knative test namespace. And that's very very simple. It's just um, just you know creating that uh, that, that channel object. But what will happen there is because the default is set to the Kafka channel, we should actually see two channels appearing in the list when we when we look at the channels. So let us let us apply that. And then when we do OC get channel, we should see um, the list coming up there. So okay, let's just try that. There we go. So there's the two channels. So we've got a we've got a channel, and then we have a Kafka channel. So the channel effectively has created the Kafka channel because that is the default for this uh, for this namespace. Uh, neither of those are ready. Um, you can see they're still being initialized, if you like. Um, if we give them a few seconds, they should become available, and we should get a URL, and we should see that they're they're ready set to two. There we go. So they're both ready um, to start um, to start receiving messages. Okay, so we should now be able to see the channel we created when we look at the Kafka topics. And uh, so we're going to use the command that we used previously to do that. Let's just run that. We should just list the, um, the topics in our, in our Kafka cluster. So there's that channel, uh, my events channel. Okay, so all right, so to test this, uh, we're gonna we're gonna just use ping source again. Um, so ping source, as as we said uh, on the in the previous um, section, this will just um, send a message out based on a particular schedule. In this case, it's going to be every two minutes. But interestingly, rather than defining our Knative service as our sync, we are defining our channel, our, our, our my events channel, as our sync. So the ping source is going to send this. Uh, JSON object to this channel every two minutes. So this is where we start to see the decoupling between the event producers and the event subscriber. So the event producer knows nothing about the subscriber. It is just publishing messages to a particular channel and it's up to subscribers then to subscribe to that channel and consume those messages. So let me uh, create that ping source. And if I do OC get ping source, we should hopefully see that ready. That will have to give it a few seconds. There we go, so it's ready. And now we have the sync is defined as the channel this time. So that's, so that is correct. Okay, so now we should see, as I say, that that ping source will start creating uh, messages and put them in that channel. Nothing is going to happen with those messages until we until we create some services which are going to subscribe to that channel. So we're going to create two services. We're going to call them Event Display Channel One and Event Display Channel Two. If I look at the uh, the YAML for those, if I just have a look at the the code here. Um, 
you'll see here it's, it's effectively the same as our, our previous Node.js example. It's the same image. Uh, we're just calling it Event Display Channel 1 and Event Display Channel 2. So we should see both of these pods spinning up and consuming those messages from, um, from this ping source. So let me de uh, deploy those uh, Knative services. And once that's done, we then need to create subscriptions for those services. So, um, so both of these services are going to be are going to subscribe to the My Events channel. Um, so this is the subscription. This is the name of the channel. This is the subscriber. Um, so I've got two versions of that. I've got the channel one subscription and the channel channel two subscription. So let me just apply those. And now what we need to do is just give the ping source a little bit of time and it will start firing those events and our Knative services then will both spin up and should um, you know produce the output of those events. So let's just have a look. Let's just watch our pods. Oh, there you go. So they're both winning. So that's that's probably because they were both um, they were both still just being deployed while they were, they were deployed, which will spin them up. Let me just look at the logs on one of them just to see did it actually receive any messages or not. Um, Okay, they did. So they, 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 it's already got a message from this ping source. Yeah. So that's so that's it effectively working. Um, so again, we have a we have a ping source sending a message to a channel every two minutes, and then we have two Knative services subscribed to that channel and uh, you know decoupled that completely from the from the source of the events. All right. So let us just delete this channel, and we will delete the subscribers, and then we'll have a we'll have a look at uh, brokers and triggers. So let me just um, delete all these just to keep things tidy. All right, so brokers and triggers, these are similar to channels. Um, and again, you know, they're, they're, in this case, they're persisted by Kafka. Um, they, it's decoupled from you know, the, the, the event um, source and the consumers are effectively decoupled. Um, but what we can do here is we can add the ability to filter and route messages based on header data. So I'm going to do a simple example here, which is going to set up two Knative services, and they are going to receive messages from um, the same broker, but they're going to receive them. You know, each one is going to receive messages based on on the source of of the message. So they're both going to receive messages messages from different sources. So let us create a broker. Um, first of all, we will apply this um, this broker. Yeah, let me just show you that. There we go. We're just defining a broker in the Knative uh, test namespace. And once that is done, we should say OC get brokers. It should be ready. There we go. That's set up. And we've got our, uh, our ingress for that broker there. OK. So now we're going to dis deploy, again, two Knative services, similar to what we did with the channel one. Um, we'll just call them Event Display Broker 1 and Event Display Broker 2. Again, it's the same image that we've been using previously. It's just going to log out the, um, you know, whatever it receives, whatever cloud event data it receives. So let us create those. Um, and if I do, let's see, get pods. Just watch those again. That those They will be spun up and... Um, yeah, but we'll have to wait for wait for a minute for those to be shut down. So that's fine. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a trigger. Um, so this is going to basically send um, send messages to each of these services. Okay, so it's going to and it's going to define a filter based on in this case the, the attribute type um, things coming from from source from the ping source will go to event display broker one. And messages coming from 
container source will go to Event Display Broker 2. Okay, so both of these, they're both going to be subscribed to the same broker, but they're going to, um, you know, route the messages to different services based on the headers of the, um, of the encoded message. Okay, so let us, uh, let us just deploy those. And there's the second one. And if we do OC get triggers, we should hopefully see that they are set up and ready. There we go. So they're, they're, they're ready. Um, they've got a, they've both got their own subscriber URI as well. Um, so now that that is done, uh, we're now going to create two sources which are going to deliver mess, deliver events to our broker. So in this case, uh, for the sync, for our, our source, our ping source, it's going to be the kind broker and the name is default, which is the which is the broker that we we created. Um, let's just have a look at brokers. So there's our there's our broker. There's the name default. So that's what's going to distinguish these. So these are these are again similar to what we've seen previously. I've got a ping source and a container source example. Um, that the sync for both of them is the same broker. Okay, so there's no there's no uh, difference there. They're both sending messages to the same um, destination, effectively, and it's up to the broker then to route those to the to the to the correct service based on the filter that we defined. Okay, there's the container source, and as we know, these will send messages based on a on a on a command schedule. I think actually in this case, the the ping source will send it every minute. Our container source, if you remember, will send it every two minutes because that's you know using the node cron module there. Um, so if we do OC get sources, we should see those correctly, and they should have our broker ingress as as the sync, which is the which is the key thing. So they're both ready. You can see we've got ready two on them all, and the sync is our broker ingress. So that is where they're going to be uh, emitting these events to. So let us have a look um, at our parts. Um, so there's the container uh, source deployment, um, and there's the event display broker one, which is running, um, and event display broker two. So they've both picked up, um, they've both been fired up. So let's have a look at the logs for event display broker one. There's event display broker one, and that is come from the ping source. Okay. And then we'll have a look at um, event display broker two. And we should see that from the container source. Yeah, so the container source there. Yeah, so again, so what's happened there is we've got two different sources. They're sending messages to a single broker, and then the broker is then determining which um, sync effectively to route those messages to based on the source of the uh, of the event. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, let's say we've just covered sort of more production grade uh, K-native eventing where we can back uh, channels and brokers uh, by Kafka. And we can decouple our sources and our subscribers and allow you know multiple subscribers to subscribe to particular channels. And we can also route messages based on filtering and so on uh, using using Canadian brokers. Okay, thanks very much.